Good day everyone and welcome to our new video lesson. So this time I am going to discuss about the triangle congruence, particularly on the correspondence and congruence. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so before that, let's have a gear up. So what is all about correspondence? So let's have, uh, let's take this example. So how can you make a one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of mother animals and the set of their babies? So for example, we have set A, we have dog, cow, kangaroo, and lion. Then we have for set B, we have puppy, calf, joey, and cub. So as you can see, for the set A, these are the mother animals. And then for the set B, these are their babies. So we're going to make a one-to-one -one correspondence. So the mother animals in the first set so can be paired with the baby animals in the second set. So this symbol means corresponds to, which implies that matching is done on both directions. So, tatandaan na itong symbol na ito, parang symbol ng line, pag binasa natin is coresp um, this one, corresponds to. Okay, so let's answer. For the one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of mother animals and the set of their babies, so dog corresponds to, okay, puppy. Isn't it? And then, for the cow corresponds to, calf and then for the kangaroo corresponds to joey and then for a lion that corresponds to the baby animal which is cub okay so ito ay example ng one-to-one -one correspondence Okay, so we define correspondence between two triangles involves pairing or matching of vertices, sides, or angles. So the pairing does not require the corresponding sides and angles to be equal or proportional. So tatandaan natin dito no, for the correspondence daw, we're going to um, pair no, or match dun sa dalawang triangle doon sa kanilang vertices, sides, at saka angles. So, take note, itong naka-highlight na doon sa pag natin or pag match for the correspondence, hindi ito nire-require na dapat ay uh, maging equal or proportional sila. Okay? So, guys, so let's have an example for this correspondence. So, let's take uh, first, no, discuss what, um, what is all about the vertices sides at saka proportion uh, angles no do na discuss na natin ito before so let's have this triangle so as you can see yung three dots natin yung kanila mga intersection so ito yung tinatawag natin na vertices okay so yan yung tinatawag natin na vertices itong mga dot na yan okay next itong kulay na to you have red then this um this one no itong Pag pinag-connect natin itong dalawang points na ito, itong red na ito, yan naman po yung sides natin. So, we can also have this one or this one. Okay? And then lastly, yung violet. So, we have two. So, ito naman yung tinatawag natin na angle. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Ayan. So, for the vertices of this particular figure, so we have three. No? We have point A point B and point C. So, ito yan. Point A, point B, and point C. And then, for the sides, we also have three sides. So, yung sides natin, we have ayan, line segment AB. Then, the second one is line segment BC. And then, the last one, we also have line segment AC. Ayan. So, tatlo yung sides. And then, for the angles, we also have three so, we have two ways to write angles. It can be um, using one letter. And then, we also have the three letters. So, kapag one letter lang, um, yung mismong, um, parang yun na sa vertices natin. No? Ito. So, we have angle A. 
or pag tatlo yung letter na kukunin natin, we have B, A, C. So, make sure na kapag um, kinuha mo yung angle A natin, siya yung nasa gitna kapag tatlo yung sinulat natin. No? Ayan. So, you have B, A, C. Kaya kapag isang letter lang, yung angle A na lang. Okay? Next, kapag angle B naman, so, pag isang letter lang, ganyan yung pagkakasulat. Then, kapag tatlo yung kukunin natin, make sure na yung B natin ay nakasulat siya sa gitna. So, you have A, B, C. So, that's our answer. Next, we have for the angle C. Or, pag tatlo naman yan, we have to make sure once again na nasa middle yung C. So, you have B, C, A. Or, pwede rin naman A, C, B. Parehas lang naman po yan. Okay? So, yan po yung ating mga vertices, sides, and angles. Okay. Let's have an example for correspondence using two triangles. Okay, so example, we have to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. So, pag drenoving natin or in-illustrate natin yung ating triangle ABC, yan dito siya. And then, for our triangle XYZ, this will be the form. So, as you can see, hindi proportional or hindi equal yung ating triangles. ba? Kasi yung definition natin a while back for the correspondence, hindi niya nire-require na magkaparehas sila. So, just take note of their position lang. No? Sige. So, let's first identify the three correspondence. So, for the pairs of vertices, so, tulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, ito yung mga nasa gilid ng ating triangle. So, let's take A. So, verti, uh, vertex A. So, ito. So, saan yung kanyang katapat or kakorespond? So, dun sa kanyang position ay C, X. No? So, ito. Si point A at saka si point X. So, isusulat natin, A corresponds to X. And then, for point B, so, same then same position. So, you have, yung correspond, uh, correspondence niya, you have Y. Yan, no? Then, lastly, for C, point C, kakorresponds niya C, point Z. Ayan. Okay, so, yan yung ating mga pairs of vertices. Next, we have for the correspondence between angles. So, dito, we're just going to take, um, yung ating one letter na lang, no? So, hint lang kung ano yung um, pairs of vertices natin is actually yun din po yung ating angles, no? We're just going to add a symbol lang before the, dun sa ating letter na tinutukoy natin is yung angle, no? So, let's have this one. So, A. So, lalagyan mo lang siya ng angle. So, hindi ko lang mahanap kasi yung symbol for angle. So, that should be um, angle A. So, ganun din, kakorespondence din niya si angle X. Tama? Then, for the second one, we have angle P. So, this angle, kakorespondence din niya si angle Y. Then, lastly, for the angle C, corresponds to angle Z. No? So, as you can see, guys, yung pairs of vertices natin is um, katulad siya, no? parang katulad siya ng angles. Yun nga lang, dun sa pair of vertices natin and dun sa angles natin, dinadagdagan natin ng symbol na angle before dun sa mga letters natin. Okay? Take note dun. Then, for la lastly, we have the correspondence between sides. So, yun sa sides natin, take note na we need two points, no? Or two letters para i-write natin or isulat natin uh, yung ating sides. So, let's take um, this one, first side, we have line segment AB or side AB. So, sulat natin ganyan. No? So, side AB or line segment AB. And then, it corresponds to what side? So, itong side. So, syempre, same position. Yung kakorespondence niya ay C, X, Y. Nandito. Okay? Next, we also have side BC, this part. So, syempre, ang kanyang kakorespondence ay si side YZ. Sulat natin yan. Okay? Then, lastly, yung ating last na uh, kakorespondence for the sides, we have side AC, which is uh, which corresponds to side XZ. Ayan. So, ganyan lang po kadali uh, yung 
sa correspondence. Basta makikindi sila parehas ng figure, basta yung kanilang position ay alam natin yun yung kanilang ka-correspondence. No? Sige, next. Okay, next. So, let's talk about um, uh, congruence. So, for the congruence, its definition, two triangles are congruent if their corresponding sides are in equal length and their corresponding angles are equal in sides. So, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ, the relationship can be written as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. So, take note, ito, na-emphasize ko na to sa mga previews na online class natin, na this symbol is for congruence. Nang ibig sabihin nito, kapag congruence daw, dapat yung figure natin ay talagang equal in length sila, tapos yung kanilang corresponding angles are also equal in sides. So, unlike dun sa correspondence, hindi mahalaga kung equal yung kanilang or proportional yung kanilang um vertice ay yung kanilang vertices, yung sides and angles, pero dito sa congruence ay dapat totally na equal sila in length and sides, no? Doon sa um, angles natin or in short, dapat magkaparehas na magkaparehas. Okay? So, guys, so let's have an example for this. So let's say triangle ABC and then the second one is XYZ. So, as you can see, this figure, so these, uh, these figures, dito sa ating two triangles, ay talagang magkaparehas sila. No? Magkaparehas yung kanilang um, shapes and sides. So, dito, hindi na kailangan na i-identify pa yung kanilang congruence in terms of their vertices. No? Ang kukunin lang naman natin dito sa congruence ay yung kanyang sides, corresponding sides, at saka yung corresponding angles. So, let's take its corresponding sides and corresponding angles. So, let's take the first one. So, side AB. So, syempre, since parehas yan, so ang kanyang ka congruent ay you have this one. Ayan. So, take note then na dun sa congruence natin, uh, you have for the congruent. Okay. So, take note na dito sa ating um, gitna nung dalawang sides natin, ang ginamit na natin is yung symbol ng congruency. No, kasi yung pinag-uusapan na natin dito ay congruence. Okay? So, next, we have side AB. So, this one. So, you have, uh, sorry, side BC. So, is congruent to side YZ. And then, lastly, we have side AC which is congruent to side XZ. Yan, no? So, I repeat, pag binasa natin dito, ito, tong symbol na ito is congruent. No? Next, for the congruent or corresponding angles, so same, we're just going to take one letter. So, yun nga, para siyang vertices. So, we have this one, angle A. So, syempre, ang kanyang kakongruent ay si angle X. Next, for angle B, congruent to angle Y. And then lastly, for angle Z or C, which is congruent to angle Z. Yan. So, ganyan lang kadali yung sa congruency. So, same shape, uh, uh, same sila ng angle, saka same talaga sila ng sides. Okay? So, I hope na clear yung correspondence and congruence. Okay. So, let's have this last example. So, for example, we have triangle car and uh, which is congruent to triangle box. So, paano natin malalaman na congruency yung sinasagutan natin or correspondence? No? So, dito mismo sa ating given. So, since as you can see, yung uh, symbol na ginamit is congruency or congruent. So, meaning, ang kukunin natin is yung congruency, yung corresponding angles and corresponding sides lang nung ating dalawang triangle. So, kapag i-drawing natin or tayo mismo yung magda-drawing ng triangle car, so make sure na same siya ng size and then shape dito sa ating triangle box. Ayan. Ayan. So, para siyang copy-paste. No? Pinapalitan lang natin yung kanilang 
mga label or letters. So you have triangle CAR, which is C-A-R. Then you also have triangle B-O-X. Okay? So let's draw a table. So we have for the corresponding sides and corresponding angles. So first, for the corresponding sides, we have side C-A. Yan. So pwede din namang AC. So same lang din naman po yun, no? Then, ang gagamitin natin is congruent, no? Ito, kasi yun yung natin nasa given natin. To side BO or OB. Okay? Next, we have side AR and then congruent to side OX. And then lastly, side CR which is congruent to side BX. Ayan. And then for the corresponding sides, we have angle C corresponds to angle B. Ah, uh, sorry, congruent to angle B. And then for angle A, that is also congruent to angle O. And then lastly, for uh, angle R, that is also congruent to angle X. Ayan, no? So parang ganito siya. Dito rin mismo makikita rin natin, no? kahit hindi natin siya drenowing. Dito sa ating um, given, so you have C, then you have A and O, then R and X. So same din sila ng pwesto. So ganun din kapag um, drenowing natin. Okay? okay? So that is all about correspondence and congruence. Ayan. So I hope na clear yung about sa correspondence and congruence. So, just, just take note na for correspondence, hindi necessary na kailangan silang equal or proportional yung kanilang shape. No? Mahalaga yung kanilang correspondence. And then, for the congruence, ayun talaga yung kailangan magkaparehas na magkaparehas sila. Okay? So, for this time, thank you for watching and uh, I hope that this video lesson will help a lot. So, keep safe uh, everyone.